Having criticised Manchester United supporters, previous Man United managers, to self-defence, to criticising players in public, Jose Mourinho has been a very busy man in the last few days. It's not too surprising we've seen this sort of reaction from Mourinho at previous clubs. But how do we deal with it at Manchester United? Is it a problem? Is there any truth in what he is saying? I want to analyse what Mourinho has been saying and run through it with you. Now, I'm sure you've seen it by now, but Jose Mourinho gave a 12-minute impassioned press conference ahead of Man United's game against Brighton, where he went into detail about football heritage, what that means for Manchester United, talking about his previous clubs, talking about what Man City is doing. A long, long speech where he's saying, I'm alive, but this process is still going on at Manchester United. Now, that's obviously a direct relation and reaction to the Sevilla game, which Jose Mourinho fairly drew a lot of criticism for. But in justifying that, Mourinho goes on to describe what he considers as football heritage at Manchester United. The way he did that was by explaining how Manchester United have gone out of the Champions League every single year since we were last in the final in 2011. So in seven years, with four different managers, once not qualify for Europe, twice out in the group phase and the best was a quarter-final. This is football heritage. And in that same time, he goes on to describe all of Manchester United's Premier League campaigns since Fergie retired. And he also, at the same time, goes on to describe all the successes that Man City have had. And he defines that as football heritage. Now, if there's one thing you shouldn't do with Manchester United fans when trying to justify your failures, it's talking about heritage. The definition of heritage is something that's been inherent and passed down through a club by its traditions. Manchester United, we've won the English title 20 league times. We've won the European Cup three times. Heritage is not going to justify anything that we saw against Sevilla, Jose. That's all down to the individual day in the performance. And what I feel about this whole impassioned press conference, Mourinho's reaction to it all, for me, it feels like Mourinho is protecting his own ego, protecting his own identity as a serial winner. Because let's be honest, Mourinho was overlooked when Fergie retired. He wanted that job. He would have taken that job in a heartbeat. It almost feels like Mourinho is showing Manchester United, making sure, stat by stat, that the club understands how much of a mistake they made by hiring Moyes and not Mourinho. And look at this shitstorm that I've now got to try and help oversee and improve. That's what I'm left with. And you made a big mistake by not hiring me. I almost feel that's what this is all about. Mourinho coming into this press conference pre-prepared with his stats. It felt a little bit Rafa Benitez and his facts when he lost it. It's an odd press conference for me. Yes, you want that sort of passion from your manager, but Mourinho is trying to justify the failure against Sevilla with something he doesn't need to. He just has to say, look, we were poor. We underestimated Sevilla. The tactics were wrong, but that would be admitting fault. And that's something that Jose Mourinho doesn't typically do. And for me, he's lashing out in the wrong directions here. And then the next match Manchester United had after Sevilla was obviously the Brighton game on Saturday night. Sorry, I didn't have a post-match reaction. I was away at an event that night. But the game in itself, 2-0, almost flattering to Manchester United. Two shots on target, we had two goals. Thank you very much, Lukaku and Matic. But after the game, it was Jose Mourinho's quotes again which drew more attention than the football itself. Now, after the Brighton game, Mourinho effectively said there were only two players who were exempt from criticism. His generals, his lieutenants, Lukaku and Matic. And that's not only probably just because they played very well, but he went after Luke Shaw with both barrels again. And this Luke Shaw situation, for me, I can't get my head around what he's trying to do. Previously, his criticism of Shaw I understood it. That was Mourinho's tactic of trying to get the most out of players. But since then, Luke Shaw responded to that criticism, came back, played five or six brilliant games in a row. And then Mourinho said he's one of the best left backs in the Premier League. Then Ashley Young returns to fitness. Luke Shaw gets immediately dropped, disappears out of the first team for a while, comes back in for the Brighton game, gets taken off after 45 minutes and absolutely slammed publicly by Mourinho after the game. For me, this feels personal. 
I think the first attempt at criticism, that was professional. You might not agree with it, but that's Mourinho's style of management. He criticises players in public to try and get more out of them. Doing it again, it feels like, A, unjustified. B, it feels personal. I don't know what is going on with this Luke Shaw and Mourinho situation. Let me know what you think. But try and be Luke Shaw in this situation. I don't really know what he thinks anymore. He must be... I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I want to hear what you think about this Shaw and Mourinho situation. But for me, it stinks. And for me right now, this talking point of Mourinho, what's he trying to do when he's, he's on this warpath now? We got knocked out of the Champions League against Sevilla. Two shocking performances, two poor performances from Mourinho as a manager. Got it wrong away to Sevilla. Got it wrong at home against Sevilla. But instead of blaming himself or anybody on the team, well, yeah, he's, blaming, he's blaming the players in certain points, he's blaming fans in other points, predecessors in other points, looking at football heritage. It's diverting away from anything apart from the problem, which was Mourinho's football against Sevilla. You know, have we got the tactics right? We could have easily beaten Sevilla. You know, they got pumped 5-0. They've been beaten so many times in Spain this season by Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid. They got beaten at the weekend by a relegation candidate out in La Liga. But Mourinho, I understand this is Mourinho's way. And I'm not saying that I didn't expect this to happen. I'm just confused. And I want to know from you, what do you make of this whole situation in the last week since Sevilla, his 12-minute pre press conference, his comments after the Brighton game aiming at Shaw, saying that only Lukaku and Matic had the class, personality and desire to play for United in that game. I want to know what you think, because it's very divisive right now. Mourinho was a divisive manager sometimes, and clearly we're seeing that. It's the international break, going to have some time to... Sit and think about the situation at United at the moment, but I want to know what your thoughts are. So let me know in the comments as always. Now, if you're new to United People's TV, as always, drop a like on the video and subscribe. But as I said, make sure you leave your comments in the comments section below about Mourinho and this whole situation which is unfolding at United right now.